Welcome to Thursday, March 7th live stream. Shout out to Jenny Hoyas. Shout out to Jill. Shout out to Carla. Shout out to Titi Toxica. Shout out to Eluz. Sorry about that. Everyone's begging me to shout out. The first fragrance we're going to talk about in a few moments is GCD Gisada Ambassador Intense. I might have found a similar scent cheaper to this. This is one of the times that I will be also opening up a new bottle of Louis Vuitton Meteor. Just got that. But let's start with the things on the thumbnail first, which is Rancic 107.9, which is a cherry pink pepper black vanilla fragrance with orange husk. Labdomums violet. It smells like cherry vanilla with a bit of powderiness. Anyone can wear it, man or woman. Very, very good performance. It's deeper and intense than most fragrances. If you have ever heard of expensive fragrance called BDK Smoking Rouge, this is a, allegedly a clone of it. Both guys and girls can wear it. Huge scent trail, huge scent bubble. It's not too expensive, it's affordable. And click that live 50 sale for 50 percent off on this the links are probably down below yeah i like that cherry smoked sweetness i love that now later on in the springtime i've ordered lots of niche fragrances not that we're going that way but i want to try it's very difficult to attempt to locate clones that aren't really made for the that they don't know that they're clones or maybe they do and maybe a designer made it or blah 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 for instance Jacques Cavalier made this Louis Vuitton fragrance and I know him for many many years since the 90s and in 2010 he made an Isimiyaki flanker an Isimiyaki flanker that smells identical to this and I'm trying to get it it's like one of those eBay rare gems but it's still only like a hundred bucks and this is 400 330 plus tax so even if you bought it for a hundred, you'd have a Jacques Cavalier. It's like a chef who makes his own dish over and over and over again with a bigger budget here, obviously. But he has a, a, a big menu in his head, and that's pretty cool that I found that. I also found another new clone, and I'm going to show you that in a second for this. Let's move on to the second item on the thumbnail, which is Louis Vuitton's Spell on You. I found this. It's called chant on you luke's visions chant on you is neither overpowering neither too strong also it's 50 percent off you should take advantage of it because these things are going crazy the hype is on people are hoarding them and prices are skyrocketing and all i can do is show you this bottle oh yeah that is sexy it's like a blend of iris rose and peaches i think anyone can wear it of course it's leaning feminine but because it's pink and all that but alongside florals and musks and citruses you can do very well getting this for you your wife your girlfriend i love it louis vuitton's spell on you clone chant on you highly recommend that the next fragrance we're going to show you is um a brand new one it's called jupe well it's not brand new but in the hot weather here in south florida i've experienced very good performance with this it's not anywhere near it's really made to be a winter fragrance it's called jupe jupe absolute cool yellow and black cool bottle box batch codes on the bottom 2251 that proves the authenticity of the bottle it's a cologne made by master perfumer Antoine Maison Dieu. It starts with spicy black pepper, right? Spicy black pepper. And then you go into this flower called Ylang Ylang, which is like a yellow floral. And it doesn't stop there. It's got extreme powerful vetiver, tonka bean, and incense. That incense is what makes the, the fragrance very deep and unexpected and attractive. It heats up on my skin in mega heat it heated up and projected and lasted longer in the winter it was kind of weak and, and disappointing for a jupe fragrance and there's also a jupe le parfum out too that's really good don't have it right here with me but this is one that, that you might like you can wear it in the winter obviously the next fragrance is called light blue summer vibes by dolce and gabbana and Looks like I forgot to bring it. But anyway, it's like Dolce Gabbana, light blue intense. 
I'll show you a picture of it here. It was like $40 only for 4.2. It's like Tom Ford Costa Azura's fragrance. Let's see if I can pull it up for you. Hmm. No, I can't. Okay. And the light blue intense is not as intense as light blue summer vibes. This one's been tweaked perfectly and I love it. Here it is. Light blue summer vibes. This fragrance, I would 100% recommend you get it. Let's see if you can see this picture. Nope, that's not the right picture. Those are my notes. Let's try again this picture. Oh, there it is. Okay, brand new in the box, it's 50. And then without the box, it's $44.95. Light blue summer vibes. Really cool looking bottle. This is a tester. It's the same thing as that, but if you're giving for a gift, maybe it looks cooler to have that cool blue psychedelic box there. And if you want to get it even cheaper, use a code called UNC10. Gives you another five bucks off. So that's even better. Thank you for watching that. Moving on. We are moving on to the next fragrance. And in a moment, we're going to see this new Louis Vuitton and this Switzerland Ambassador Intense by Gisata. Let's see what we got going on now. my notes oh there they are so that was Dolce Gabbana light blue intense let's just go ahead and jump aboard jump ahead and do this one this is Louis Vuitton Meteor they do make a Meteor Noir Meteor Noir is not like this this is a freshie and this is Meteor Noir's clone which is called Essence to Noir it's a little bit more dark Essence to Noir's black currant rose cyclamen and oud patchouli so there is no noticeable oud in louis vuitton's meteor okay louis vuitton meteor skin check spray time we're going to spray 330 overpriced J jack cavalier fragrance on my skin no offense jacks if you're watching i love you man Yep, you got mandarin orange, definitely bergamot, just some beautiful citruses and beautiful green notes. It is actually quite beautiful. It's called Meteor and it smells kind of salty, marini, but very little. I don't even have the notes for this, but let's check this one out. It's called Jealousy by Aston Feelings Collection. This is a 100 milliliter bottle and I wonder how much this costs. I think it's like $60, but this is, mmm, that meteor is drying up beautifully already. Oh yeah, pressure eye sprayer, look at that. Jealousy dries down to this. It smells exactly like it right off the get even, but you gotta wait. You have to really wait and let this thing macerate. 100% it's an Egyptian brand that's like um asked it's um Anfar or I think of this is an Anfar company that is my regular finger not my middle finger and as it dries down it's that fresh citrus notes for 60 bucks I would recommend it I tried it in high heat both of these and they just acted exactly identical let's see if i can get you a note breakdown for that one mm, not yet okay so that was yeah we don't have that one yet there's not sheet there's suits there's nile queen but not that one Let's see if the website has any information on it. You want to see the information? 
this is called Jealousy. It's a clone of Louis Vuitton's Metro Noir. We're trying to find the notes just to tell you a little bit about what it smells like. Jealousy. G-E-A-L-O-U-S-Y. Coming up, I do have some brand new clones of Amouage stuff. Okay. Oh, this is an Eau de Parfum. It's got Calibrian bergamot, mandarin orange, Sicilian orange, neroli, nutmeg, and cardamom. A little bit of vetiver. It's exactly Louis Vuitton Meteor. So there you go. It is $60. And I think that is a great price for that fragrance for 3.4 Eau de Parfum. Let's keep it moving because there is a lot I want to show you. The next fragrance is simply called Rudaba. It's another Anfar fragrance. Rudaba is a fragrance Eau de Parfum extract. Extract de Parfum. Rudaba is an extract de Parfum that smells like cognac and vanilla. Very strong cognac note. You'll love it. Projects crazy, lasts crazy, and I'm going to make a note to give it to you 50% off. Also, this one will be 50% off. These are all, these are really good. And the next one is this. Okay, here, Jasada Ambassador. Let's put these to the side here. Jasada Ambassador, I have no idea. I'm just going by smell, okay? It smells beautiful, lavenderish. It smells clean and spicy, strong, all at the same time. I don't know the price. I think it was like 100, 120. Everyone hyped it. Everyone talks about this fragrance. Oh, we have some people who came in here. Hi. Mrs. Tasty Cuisine, Man With Sense. Thank you, Man With Sense. Good afternoon, everyone. Man With Sense has a nice, cool YouTube channel. He's very respectful and very nice. I really like Man With Sense. Black Gula 75 says, are there any good Valentino clones? Yeah, there are some, but Stan says, hi, RS Apps. You're telling me you found Rouge Smoking Clone? Yeah. I found it. It's called 107.9 Frenzyk. That's right. Right here. And it's 50% off. You should do a top 10. Yes, I will do that soon. Female video. That's MD. And then we have Native 78. What niche fragrances did you get us? I don't know what is this a niche or not. I'm out here. What's up, Nunk? What's up, dude? I'm out here. Cool looking dude there. Amp Dad's here. I bought Caprice. Oh, yeah, man. Caprice. We got to put that on sale, too. That's a good fragrance. I'm out here. It smells like Louis Vuitton's Bleu Electrique. It's La Tapa Caprice. Nashua Caprice. It's a blue bottle. It smells like Louis um, Yves Saint Laurent Bleu Electrique. Next guy here, we have Gagmin de Oprio. Bond number nine clones, please. Those are very hard to find. It's getting ridiculous. There's a long story I can't share with you at this very moment. But Oh, That's Life is here. I started peppering in, peeping in some spring fragrance in my rotations, hoping for a warmer weather in Michigan. I'm working, but I'm going to shoot you an email, Unc. I have an idea for you. Okay, Amp Dad. Julio. Jorge Rios. You do beautiful reviews of fragrance, Carolina. I'm looking at strong for you know, CGH Man, Carolina Herrera, which is one of the fragrances I love. I wish it projects. Just get CH Man Privé. Very simple. Afternoon. What's up, Stuart Harris? Okay. All right. There's so many comments. JT from St. Louis. What's up, boss man? JT from St. Louis. Okay. And then we have Dumbo Majola. Hi, Uncle. How are you? Quick one. Do you know any site delivers in South Africa? I sure don't, my friend. Let's get back to this. Desada. So this one here, you've got nice lavender spices. It smells really good, like it's going to get compliments. I don't know the notes. If um, Native78, you know anything about this, put it in the comments to help everyone. I'm going to show you something I found. 
that is going to be 50% off, but it's expensive because they protect the prices, all right? But they don't protect my codes, so I've got a way around it. These sales are for you guys because you guys are the most strongest enthusiasts that watch. So after the sale is over, everyone else doesn't get it. Only you know about it because I only tell them on live streams. And then I sometimes or oftentimes, you're probably on an email list and you'll get some offers as well. So this is a new fragrance. It's called Aslan Oud Charcoal Edition. Aslan Oud Blue Edition is a beautiful, strongest version, not this one, the blue one, of Dior Sauvage Elixir with the licorice. And this is the Charcoal Edition. I don't really have any information on this thing, but for some reason it smells like this. And they both last like beast mode. And the problem is, look at that. Oh my God, so strong, like a beast. It's peppery, strong, medicinal even, but when it dries down, it doesn't have that sweet twinge that this one has, but it dries down. It's like, I'm gonna say 85% similar scent to this. We're not saying that this is a clone, but I'm sure they were inspired. Maybe not, maybe you know something I don't. Has anyone ever tried Aslan Oud? Michael turns your stuff's probably on its way. I'm looking for a nice Middle Eastern honey scent for men. I got you, man. Check this out. First of all, there's this one. This is called Den Al Oud. I call it sugared Cambodian wood. That's what I call this. Den Al Oud. I have no idea what that means. But I call it sugared Cambodian wood den al oud. I put all that in the title. So I call this sugared wood. So Cambodian oud is the highest quality of oud. This is an extract de parfum, which means it's like the highest concentration of oils. And this plainly smells like almost like a very sweet version of angel share. But it's delicious sugary fruity wood. Very nice with a masculine lowerness to it. And it's called Denal Oud Cambodia. And I call it Sugared Oud. And also get it for 50% off if you're watching the live, this video live stream during the weekend. It's Saturday, it's Sunday. I'm leaving this up for you because Unc will be at the beach those days. So there's that. That's a good one. So now you know that sugared wood you know this one extract rutaba it's royal rutaba the fragrances that smells like dna's of angel share and you know this one that smells like meteor right so now you have this meteor clone jealousy 100 percent. i recommend this like crazy i don't believe it's on sale but it's very good also recommend you get vintage radio they came in in stocks like palo santo wood very beautiful office scent pacific woods very much mass appealing cobalt blue fragrance very nice like carolina herrera bad boy cobalt blue love this it smells so good so fresh another one if you want some kind of sweet wooded fragrance i would recommend you get mountain nui this is like delicious sweet and spicy arabian tonka exactly like montal's arabian this is a clone of Montal's Arabian Tonka at the seven hour mark. It's still humming off your skin. Projection longevity is phenomenal. And I will give the props to Aromatics Munib Neeb for finding this fragrance. He located it and told me about it. So bow down to him for finding this. I love it myself. My wife loves it. Lots of people compliment when you wear it. But some people don't like this sort of woody sweet wooded um, tonka spice arabian wood flavors you know some people like fresh fragrances some people like elegant fragrances the next fragrance we're going to show you is this cool fragrance called city of arabia one and three i believe they are 50 percent off too this is arabia three it's a very much inspired by dior omen tense and there's another inspiration. I have so many fragrances, I couldn't even bring them. Whiskey Reapers here, 305. What's up, man? 
There's another fragrance called, oh man, Pandora Box Club, Pandora Club Man. And it's a rendition of Jorome Intense. And it's like 30 bucks, I want to say. And it's fantastic. This one's 60, but you get it half off. Maybe it's 30, 35. La Tafa's Pride Collection. Cool bottle. Very nice packaging. And then you have La Tafa's Art of Arabia 1. Another hidden gem. Smells like 1 million Paco Rabanne parfum. And you have this Posh Malt by Fragrance World. It smells like Terry Mugler's Pure Malt. Very nice fragrance. Then you have this fragrance. The Versace Altier fragrances are coming out and they're smelling fire. They got one called Rouge Vanilla. It smells like smoked cherry vanilla. And I'll tell you about that. Whiskey Reapers. Beautiful weather in the 305. Look at whiskey. Yeah, we have Paul K. Love the Luke's Vision. I picked it up from your site. We'll be rocking it in the spring here in South Detroit. Paul K. What's the best summer clone in your fragrance in your opinion? Clone? What's the best summer clone fragrance? I would get Louis Vuitton's Imagination, but I would get the clone called Fascination. And you can get it here at this website for that. If you use the code, only you know about it now. Mr. Seeking the Truth, Husayni. And Gisada Intense is similar to Sauvage Elixir, regular Gisada's Mango Sauvage. So yeah, exactly. It does, this charcoal I was just talking about does kind of remind me. I was thinking it was Elixir. So it did smell like that, but the Gisada has a little bit more sweetness, cleanness to it. This is like brutal, extreme brutal force. But it does dry down beautifully. Now we have a new fragrance company. I don't know what this is. But it's called Royal Supreme Conqueror. I believe it. To my nose. It smells like Dior Ohm Sport. It goes in that direction. You know you got that. Kind of citrus iris. And then I heard. That there's a fragrance out there called. Amouage. It's a new summer fragrance. I forgot the name of it. And I heard that could be the clone to this. So what you have here is an Amouage looking bottle called Royal Supreme Conqueror with a price tag of $50. And it does last long. Very fresh. Very fresh citruses. Sweet citruses. A little dab of iris. I have no information. Can't find anything about this. All I know is it looks like Amouage. And they make another one called The King, which is spot on, 95% reflection, man. You got to check them out and use that right there. I'll make sure it works. If it doesn't, you can figure something out, hopefully. This is, oh, did I make a mistake here? Art of Arabia 3. Oh, Art of Arabia 3. Yeah, I'm so sorry. This one is a... Dolce Gabbana clone, like the Royal Dolce Gabbana, the One Royal. People have said that about this. Whereas this one, 100%, is the Dior Ohm. Okay, I made an error. I gotta redo this. Number one, Dolce Gabbana, mysterious one or something, the Royal one. Is this this is the DNA of it this one is the DNA right here L'Antiquity 1886 with the car the DNA of Dior Homme Intense this one actually is the DNA of Imagination Louis Vuitton very very close very very good in fact do I have any imagination no oh yeah I do right here here's a Louis Vuitton imagination right here It's funny, they don't really mark them up too much, but there is all kinds of markings on the on the edge here engraved. You can't really see it. If you ever get one, make sure yours has those markings. Don't buy this on eBay. These are very hard protection. and My nose is gone nice mandarin orange. It smells really close to that 
Meteor, because Jack Cavalier just keeps making these. And this one smells like this. 100% is a very close to this. Art of Arabia is one. Is Louis Vuitton Imagination. Same thing, okay? Or you get Luke's Vision Fascination. Better deal, better performance. This one again, it's the Dolce Gabbana, the One Royal. This one again is the the one with your own intense. And this one is Ishkak Shayakal. This one is like La Tafas. This is like the Nile Queen, but not as strong. Nile Queen is the baby cat clone. This is a toned down version, but still good. That, that smoky vanilla flavor in it. I love it. So now you've seen those. So the, the very newest ones are right here. This one, Royal Supreme Conqueror. There's also Royal Supreme the King. Those are the very newest ones. And this one, which is called Jealousy, which is a Meteor clone. These are some of the brand newest ones. Couldn't make the video in time. Ultra Famous is like effing fabulous. It's also going to be there, so you're going to get this $30 minus 50%, so it's $15 in case you were wondering. Posh, we already said that Posh Malt's the Terry Mugler Pure Malt. This is Bedour Blue. It's the most expensive fragrance that lasts the longest time to smell like Parfums de Marley Belaya. If you don't have this, if you have a girl, you can buy this for her, and she will love you for it. You can put it in a scent sprayer and... Don't tell her what it is, and she can go to the store, and they can figure it out. And they'll say, oh, this is Valaya. This is a brand new RMAF tag. It's like 30 bucks. Tag Rosso. What does Tag Rosso smell like? Allegedly, it's an Invictus Victory or and or Elixir. No information on this one either. It's got the cool bottle. Let's see, this one, one of them has black vanilla in it, and one of them is like a freshy. Let's see here, this one. Okay. Yeah, this is more like the Invictus Victory. Tag Rosso, RMAF tag, you heard it here first, right? Love that, that bottle looks so cool. It's like Tag Hewer, no. And they've also told me to tell you that this is a another Imagination clone called Ventana Marine. It's like $30. And this one's like Mercedes-Benz Club Black. It's called RMAF Tag Edition Olympiad. I think it's called Nero. Let's see. Tag Yomo Nero. There you go. This one's called Yomo Rosso. And this one's called... Yomo Nero. This is like Mercedes Benz Club Black. This one is like Invictus Victory. I don't need to put the text down because here's the text right here. Our math tag. Rosso Nero. Invictus Victory. And Mercedes Benz Club Black, which is like a black vanilla awesome fragrance. They do have good performance. The tag series are pretty cool. They'll probably be hyped up probably in a year. You're getting this. Uh oh. Well, check the website. It tells you a little bit more information. I sometimes get confused and overwhelmed with all these scents here. There's like 70 fragrances here. You can also find this Hero. It's 50 off. It's like $14 with the discount code Hero is a pleasant fragrance by Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole Hero. Kenneth Cole Hero. Sorry. Kenneth Cole Hero. Mankind Hero. Yes, that one is very nice. And this one is called Mankind Legacy. It's like a um, like a Versace style fresh Versace for um, Totally Versace style citrusy fragrance. I love this. It's like 15 bucks. It's name brand designer. So now I want to show you what I did. 
I've been buying some niche. I have a whole stack of niche. I, I'm, I'm only going to show you one. This is called Zhirzhov. Zhirzhov. Okay. Zhirzhov Alexandria II. What a beautiful bottle, right? And then you spray it here. Hope they're not watching. I'm going to spray it. Nice. Beautiful scent. It's very upscale. So beautiful. What a beautiful scent. I have no idea what it's got in it. I just bought it. Why did I buy it? Because this one goes real close to it. Have you ever heard of this? La Tapa Udain? It's like two kinds of ouds and it smells very close to that. Yep. It's like, like I almost want to say spot on, but people get mad because it's, oh, it's only 90%. So this is Zerzhov Alexandria 2. Is there other box part? Here it is. Zerzhov Alexandria okay and this is the box presentation this is like I don't know two three hundred dollars this is like 30 bucks Udain by La Tapa Udain by La Tapa smells like this you want to smell elegant rich kind of oody kind of honey-ish get that that's pretty cool and also this Dark Door Sport is a clone of Dior Home Sport. My buddy Julius doesn't like this, but I like it. I mean, it's great to keep in your gym bag or car. It smells sweeter than the Parfum de Sport. There's not as much Neroli in it. Very nice. And this is what I wear every day in South Florida. It's called Jean-Paul Gaultier On Board. That's what this is called. I wear this every day because it's so fun to wear. It's kind of a rare gem. And I'll just wear it again today. And this one is called Society Extreme. It's a brand new release by Joanchi. It's got long, super long lasting, definitely a date night fragrance. This is a fragrance that you can get if you want to smell like Invictus Platinum 100%. Clone. It's called Sakar. Here it is. S A Q A R. It's very hard to get. And now these. For, and this is my favorite. Here, Len La Omidiel Platine Privé has a lot of similarities to La Omidiel Cologne. Has some similarities to Louis Vuitton's Imagination or No Afternoon Swim has some similarities to both of those and the cologne has been out of stock and another thing these have been like off market now and the prices are they won't sell them anymore the prices have skyrocketed this is a bond number nine new york clone it's called avenue new york i would recommend you pick it up before it goes up even higher They've already jacked, they already killed, the green one's gone, you can't find it. This one's got a few left. The Soak Sun is completely gone, it's gone off the rocker. Soak Sun is a great Louis Vuitton fragrance. And then I found this Gear Lang fragrance, if you don't know, Aqua Allegoria. I just bought it because it's Neroli Vetiver. It's called Nerolia Vetiver, that's the Italian word. If you're in the Gear Lang store, they're like a hundred 30 180 if you're on discount site you picked it up 50 60 or even cheaper you did good buying gear length for like that and this one this smells so good i would totally recommend this to anyone who wants to smell like nice green citruses with vetiver that makes you smile it's elegant but fresh it's not like old manish it's totally unique and cool aqua allegoria gear Lang. i love that that bumblebee on there looks so cool there was another one but we'll get back to it another day so many and then oh there's this one i wanted to <laughs> montera rouge by fragrance world rouge tobacco this thing lasts 24 hours this uh, uh this the exact same thing 
maybe it'll be on that sale maybe not I'm not sure but it's worth every penny whatever they've asked for it and this is the best on the beach Louis Vuitton clone very hard to find it's called Luke's vision by the seashore 100 percent you need to get this if you love this color orange you wear white clothes with it it smells like oranges it smells nice and sweet and fresh it's got the pressurized sprayer so cool so awesome so good price and the amouages are so cool too and i wish i could have shown you there's one that's dark it's called the king it's like the Reflection Man, which is very similar to Ultra Male. Let's go to the comment section. We have the Whiskey Reaper. We got that's where the looks like a vacuum cleaner on the front of that bottle. Hello, do you have lactonic gourmand dupes for her? What's up, Unc? DMV popcorn yellow striped smile, brother John. Kalesi of kittens. Any G and G one, the only intense clones. Yeah, actually, this is a great question here by Kalesi. There is a clone called La African by La Tapa. It's a D and G, the only one intense clone for women. It's for women though, or it's a D and G, the only one intense. It's called La African by La Tapa. La African, and it's also 100%, 50% off. You should nab it. I tagged you in the comments on a video I posted on TikTok. Thank you so much, sir. Any good clones for the OG Dior Ohm? Well, there's this one called Club Intense. Let's see here. <clears throat> Real quick, I want to show you if I can show you the screen. Oh, yeah, there it is. La African Drummer Eau de Parfum, the only one intense dupe. This is a strong, heavy fragrance with coconut, milk, jasmine, and some other florals. So somebody was just asking about Lake Tonic strong fragrances, and there you go. And then one person asked for Dior, Dior Ohm clone. Let's see what we can find for you, Dior. Oh yeah, check this out. Here's what we got for you. Oh, there you go. There it is. You can see that, right? Pandora Club Intense. It's $30. It's a Dior Ohm Intense dupe. And then there's regular Durome Intenses and all that stuff there, just so you know. Let's read off one thing I wanted to tell you before I say hello or goodbye to you. There's in the description box maybe 20 items that I put on 50% off. Take advantage of it because it won't be for long. It's only for you guys are watching and whoever watches this on Restream. Thank you so much, Frank Tory. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day. Ah, <laughs> okay. By the seashore is an absolute fire fragrance. Thank you, man with sense. You you found it first, I think. Cooper Bachtober. Where can I get these? Which is the Meteor clone? Check it out. This is the Meteor clone, okay? It's called Jealousy. You get it at this website right here, buddy. And my code is UNC10 if you want 10% off. But this thing isn't going to be on sale yet. This is the Meteor Meteor clone Louis Vuitton. I should just put that in there, right? It doesn't fit. That's the answer, Cooper. So look in the description box of this video when it's all finished. And you'll find it. Plus you can find... I mean, if $6 off, you'll get on this. But there's like 20 items you can get for 50% off. So you can get a whole bunch of stuff in that. I would recommend you do that first, my friend. Have a blessed weekend, everybody. And I'll try to talk to you tomorrow or Saturday. But maybe not if I don't see you. I saw you.